Welcome to Learning with Mo. Let's take a look at Google Sheets, one of my favorite applications to use, a great alternate to Microsoft Excel or other spreadsheet applications. I've used several and they all have their major benefits and Google Sheets has a lot of benefits as well. Well, here's just some basic football data that I've imported here into an Excel sheet and we want to go ahead and take a look at filter views. Now, one of the things that that's really nice about Google Sheets is you can go ahead and share with another individual and you can collaborate in real time. I'm going to go ahead and bring that window over here so that we can see what that looks like. So here we go. On the left, we have the here's my account. And on the right, here's the account that I'm actually sharing it with. So these are two separate accounts. Well, let's see what happens when we have more than one person uh, editing the file at the same time. For example, I just want to go ahead and make all of my headers bold here. So I'll go ahead and click there and I'll make them bold. Now we can see it automatically makes that bold on the other sheet here as well. That's fine. It's just a little cosmetic change. But right now we can see that this data set is sorted by column H. So the amount of yards pass for what if I wanted to go ahead and create a filter to be able to sort by the amount of touchdowns that were scored? I'll go ahead and highlight my headers and I'll go ahead and introduce some filters. So I'll click here. And it tells me right, right away, it says creating a filter affects all viewers of this sheet. Right. So I have two options here. I can either go ahead and filter for everyone or I can go ahead and filter just for me. This is a really, really nice option. Now, the best thing we can do is to just filter for you only. So that way, the filter that you're creating is not affecting the views for your other collaborators here. I'm going to go ahead and choose filter for everyone. And let's see what happens here. So we can see the filters have been introduced. So if we're working on this file and I want to go ahead and filter by column L, Z to A, notice how it also filters, whoever is collaborating on this file here as well. Well, that can be a little distracting because maybe on my other account here, I want to, let's say, sort by attempts, passing attempts. So we can see how it, that's being replicated here. So whatever filter we run, it's affecting everyone that is in this file. And that can cause major, major problems. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a filter view. So I'm going to click on the data tab. And when you click on the data tab, one of the options is to create a filter view. We can create more than one. And once we create it, we can work on it exclusively. Well, let's see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and click on the data tab. I'll click on create filter view. And now we can see that we are temporarily filtering this data. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of changes here. I'll just go ahead and filter by, let's see, I'll filter by yards, Z to A. So notice we can see that the filter has been updated here. But because I created a filter view, it's not updated over here. This one is still being sorted by the amount of pass attempts in column F. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and save this view. So I'll click on save view and I'll give it a name. And I sorted this one by, let's see, by yards. And I'll just go ahead and save that. And I'm good to go. So now that I've created this private view, I can come in here and make any changes that I want to. Let's see if I, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the entire list here. And let's see if I just use some alter alternating colors that will update for everyone. We can see that's still updating for everyone here. So the filter view only works for filters. If we make any cosmetic changes to the list, it automatically appears on um, everyone's version of the file that they're using. Now, if I want to go ahead and exit the filter view, I can go, go ahead and click on the X here. And this brings me back to the original data set. 
So of course, if I filter here, it's going to affect everyone that's using that. Let's see if I can create a filter view on the other account here on the right. So I'll, my menu is condensed here. I need to go ahead and, and find it. I'll keep things sim simple here. I'll just go ahead and expand this. And then I'll click on the data tab here. I'll go ahead and create a filter view. And for this one, I'll just go ahead and sort by, let's see, I'll sort by yards per game. And we can see it's filtering here, but not on the other account. I'll go ahead and save this view. And I'll just call just Y per G for yards per game. I'll go ahead and click Save. And I'm good to go. Now I'll go ahead and press the exit button here. And now I'm back collaborating with everyone else as well. So this is a really, really nice tool and a major benefit of collaborating on a spreadsheet file in Google Sheets.